holy cow, you guys. I, I did not intend on filming. I'm definitely not ready for this. I'm sitting in my car. It's very dark. I just left the gym, so pardon the hair. But I decided to run by the thrift store before they closed. Um, I had just literally like five or ten minutes before they closed and sitting on the shelf they had a bag for six dollars i didn't really have time to truly run comps but i know that i scored big on this one <laughs> let me show you what i got all right <laughs> All right, here we are. So it just said train set with track $6. And I can see like, th like this is a vintage Tyco, um, like a transformer. Um, I'm not even sure. I don't think that they're Lionel trains, but I don't know what all is in here. I can tell you it's going to be worth more than $6. And I feel like this is something we're going to have to go through together. Uh, go ahead and comment below how much value you think is in this thing before I open it up. Let's run inside the house where the lighting is much better and comp this out. All right, here it is. Here's the entire, um, set here. All right. So this is the piece that I could actually see. The bag was, um, completely sealed shut, but I saw this Tyco. And so I kind of assumed worst case scenario the whole train track is Tyco and I pulled up some comps on that so I headed to the eBay app and typed in vintage Tyco train and then I can see all of the train pieces that are currently listed I can see at the bottom here 2400 results we're going to click filter and scroll down until we can select sold this is how you look up sold comps as soon as I click that I can see 1600 have sold 2400 listed 1600 sold that's a pretty good sell through rate and it looks like some of them are bringing some really good prices I like to sort highest to lowest and see the pieces that you don't want to miss out on i mean some of these can go for hundreds of dollars even if i sort lowest to highest even the cheapest stuff is definitely worth picking up when this entire bag was six bucks so i'm really excited uh, who knows it could all be tyco but let's see what i really have this piece definitely is not Tyco. This is a lot older. It says Allstate, and up above it, I don't know if you can see that, it says Sears and Roebuck Allstate Toy Transformer. Okay, these are the words I'm gonna use to look up, Sears and Roebuck Allstate Transformer. Let's type that into eBay and see how much this piece is worth. So I just typed in Sears Allstate Transformer. It looks like there are a few listed, a starting bid $20, starting bid $4.95. $12 for this one. So I don't know if it's worth a ton. Let's go ahead and click filter. Scroll down to sold once more. 34 are listed. 10 have sold. So not a terrible sell through rate. It looks like that one sold for $35 plus $15 shipping. Uh, $30 altogether. We'll go ahead and say 30 bucks on this piece. But I can definitely see rail cars in here. Let's see what all I've got. Here's everything I wound up with inside that bag for just $6. So let's see what everything is. First of all, you're going to notice a pretty substantial difference between this track and this track. Although they're both the same type, and I think it's a type O um, track that talks about the size of the gauge of the wire there. Um, these are substantially different and look i flipped it over check this out you see that circle with it says mar x it's marks and it's the louis marks toy division guys marks toys that is a major made in america vintage toy bolo these track pieces are marks toys let me show you some comps on those i've typed in marks train tracks and it looks like there are 359 listed right now we're going to click filter sold and 390 sold more than 100 percent sold okay let's see what these are worth oh i have some of these little clips there's one right there and there's one right there and just that clip seems to be selling for four dollars a piece so i've got eight dollars just in those clips you guys know i'm gonna sort by highest when I sort by highest, it looks like a lot of them are coming with trains. I'm hopeful that because some of this track is marks, maybe some of these train pieces are marks. Um, let's go ahead and check out the train pieces and then we'll know what we're really dealing with. Done really well in the past with Lionel trains and this seems really good quality like that. I don't think this is a Tyco piece, but we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna look for that circle with an X one more time. Guys, I found it. With a lot of the vintage train pieces, I've even seen them work it into like the name of the rail line. But you see that? 
Mark's toys. Guys, we have an engine that is Mark's. Let's check out this piece here because definitely they seem to match. Yes, this one's Mark's also. I cannot believe this. I picked this up for six bucks hoping that it was Tyco, but to see that we already have the coal car and the engine are Mark's, I'm definitely gonna make bank on this one. Is it possible? Are these cars Mark's too? You've gotta be kidding me. Why is the Tyco piece even in there? This one is Mark's. The red one is Mark's also, you guys. Is this entire train gonna be Mark's? Okay, I think that this one goes on top of this and has just been dismantled. So I can put that back together. Can we find it? Can we find a Mark's marking somewhere on this? Bingo, there it is, the pacemaker NYC. There's the Marks logo. This is incredible, you guys. I Okay, so now we know we have the engine, the coal car, and three additional cars, all Marks. These pieces are Marks, and I don't have any reason not to believe that these are, but I'm not finding a Marks mark on them. Um, I mean, they're identical to these, you guys, so I gotta find some comps. You can see this particular engine has the number 490 on it, and that's what we're going to use to look this up. So I'm going to type in Mark's 490 train engine. Guys, here's the entire set. Brand new in the box. The rail cars are a different color, but it is the same pieces. They're just molded different colors. It's sold for $120. And I don't think, I think it only comes with two cars um, and a little bit of tracks, but it is from Sears. Those are also the track pieces that do not have the rock around them. I'm pretty excited about this. Here's the one in the exact same colors as what I have in everything, $85. Now, theirs is in the box though, so I wonder if there could be more money if I part mine out. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do, you guys, because here is one with just the engine itself. It is um, for an O-gauge track, and it sold for $44 at auction with $10 shipping. Um, I definitely think if I part this out, I'm gonna stand to make the most money. Let's just say $40 for these two, and we can add that to the $30 for the transformer. The Allstate oil tanks sell for about 15 to $20. So let's conservatively say another $15 for this one. Here's my same pacemaker NYC caboose sold for $18.95 plus shipping. So let's just say about another $18 for this guy. There are actually no sold comps for the little red car here, but there are currently two auctions with bids. So I know the thing will sell, but it looks to only be worth probably about $10 for this one. Just these five potential listings here, I'm already at $113. I still have all of the track left, plus this random Tyco power pack that was in there and the little connector pieces. Let me see if I can find a value to place on all of this. This one should be easy enough to look up. There are 86 listed and only 30 something sold. I'm only gonna get about $8 out of this. I sure am glad it wasn't all Tyco racing. I think just these metal pieces that don't have the rock around them are worth about $20. And um, I, if I add these in and the two connectors, I think I'm looking at somewhere between 40 and $50. So let's conservatively say $40 in additional track here. Guys, I'm up to $153 for this train set that was just sitting there at closing time at the third store. So $153 plus shipping on this train set I paid $6 for. When you get that feeling that you just need to pop it in the thrift store, there might be something there. Don't go overboard, but definitely check it out because I'm just in awe that all of this is still there at the close of business. I'm telling you I must be the only reseller in my town. This is great. Don't forget that I'm giving away a Louis Vuitton wallet as soon as we hit 20,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be epic. Thanks so much for watching. God bless and remember, treat your business like your business.